the end of the, the end of the, 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 the when Kramer came, they saw that the foreigners weren't helping them, and they they, they decided to move them out of Bergen Belsen. And a list came from Berlin, and they put it up a list that all these people are going to Austausch, which means to exchange. And um, we were given from the Red Cross, and everybody gave us, to, we should look nice. We were all very happy. We were, I mean, we were going to freedom. I don't remember, but we had, we, had, we had to walk. My parents told me, but most of the things I don't, you know, what I remember is in general. I have, I had, after the war, I did have nightmares. I suppose right after the war I remembered more, but today I remember only general things like barracks and sometimes heaps of dead people come, come up in front of my eyes. <clears throat> the stories I'm telling you, these are stories from my parents that they used to say, they told, tell me. And the list had our family in. I mean, we walked to, towards the train we were on that train and we were going to freedom. You have no idea how happy we were. My parents said, somehow it took a while, the train was standing, and I was a little child, I was close to three. I disappeared. And the commandant which of the, uh, the, the, of the, of the concentration camp, Bernie Belson, was arguing with the head capo. Capo, you know what it was, there was the representative of the Jewish factions who was responsible, he was arguing with them, and he had a dog. And I was a child, and I was playing with the dog, and my father was looking for me. He came down to look for me. He saw me play with the dog, and he went up slowly, very carefully, to get me out of that dog that he shouldn't, shouldn't get the Germans annoyed at him, you know. But yet, did anything wrong, he got shot. Commandant turned around and saw my father and he said, Where sind Sie? He said, Wie heißen Sie? What's your name? Wie viel Anker haben Sie in die Familie? Fünf. We were five. So, Sie bleiben hier. Nehmen Sie die Sachen raus, runter. My father saw, thought this was a second death sentence. He walked back, completely despondent. My mother said, no, no, don't, don't. Everything is, God's will is for the good. We were certain this was a second death. We were already free. Who went instead of us? The head couple. He had five members to his family. He was saying, look, I'm your friend. Why are you sending everybody out for freedom? And what about me? He says, okay, okay. He says, okay. And I just came in. Okay, you go. After a few weeks, they found some of the uh, packages that were going with the people that went for freedom somewhere else in the camp. They started thinking, what's why, why should it? Why didn't they go with them? Another list came. And another list came, more people left. The third list came. We weren't on it anymore because we were off. We, we, we are gone. One of the people that went on that list was the wife of the Gera Rebbe, Oliver Shalom. She had two passports, an Israeli one and a South American one, and she had to choose. She chose the South American one. And she went. And all those were South American because had she said Israeli, she would have stayed. They all went. And after the war, we all got to know. They all went to Auschwitz and not one of them survived. And I say that sometimes we have in our holy books written, sometimes God takes somebody else instead of you. Especially if he really wants to go. 
So that is one of the signs that there is special surveillance. We call it Hashgacha Pratit on everybody. And as I said, there was a decree who should live, not who should die. Because we, we, we know that when there is a terrible decree, then, you know, he doesn't look who's righteous, who's not righteous. But sometimes there's a decree you should live. And I think our family had the decree. We all survived. In the end, my, my grandmother, except for my great-grandfather and grandfather, we all survived. Because my grandparents were hungry, they survived. My, my, my grandparents, my grandmother, my aunt, my mother, and my father, and me, we survived. We all survived the war. Now I come to the uh, train. At the end of the war, as you know, there were